there's an awful lot of funny things coming in on the, on the front of uh, uh, the, uh, the the sex ban. Women in America claiming that they're going to protest the um, election of Donald Trump by yes. refusing to have sex with their male partners. Absolutely incredible stuff. This, this woman, Bri Bria Lacero, on TikTok has, yeah. been, has been vowing to remain celibate, you know, an entire nation of men, you know, yeah. breathes a huge sigh of relief. Yes, I and she says this, right? Yeah. Uh, as a woman, my bodily autonomy matters, and this is my way to exercise sovereignty over that. So I highly encourage any other women who are single and still care about progressing women's rights and still fighting for our bodily autonomy to do the same. Delete your dating apps. I mean, why is it men's fault? Why is it men who are to blame for this? What has it got to do with it? You're not yeah. going to punish Donald Trump by doing that. What right. you do, darling, is you go to the poll, you go to the polling booth yeah. on November the sixth, and you on November the fifth, and you vote. Yeah, that's what you do. You don't come back and then protest the result right. and then say I'm going to be celibate and delete my de my dating apps right. as if anyone cares. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely bizarre. Uh, big story that we're going to do exclusively this morning here on Talk. We're going to be speaking to uh, Alex Wilson from Reform. He's one of the Assembly members. I think he's one of the fewest. <laughs> Assembly members for reform uh, in the London Assembly. Yeah, this is what he had to say yesterday on the news that basically the London Assembly, run by Sadiq Khan, wants to give more money, yet more money, to asylum seekers so they can have free travel on all London transport. Have a look. We're not going to get a grip on this issue until the pull factors are addressed. Uh, it was already out of control under the last government. Uh, it's getting even worse now. More than 31,000 crossing the channel by the 2nd of November, more than the whole of last year, and there's still two months to go. Uh, we are and always have been a welcoming country to those in genuine need, um, but the vast majority of those crossing are not women and children fleeing war and persecution. Three quarters are males of fighting age, and British taxpayers will reach a limit when they feel they're being taken advantage of. We saw on Tuesday in America what happens when a people have had enough of their generosity being taken for granted. I know I'm alone at present in this chamber, but I'm sure if we carry on like this in four years' time, I won't be. Yeah, I mean, interesting that uh, Alex says that. He's coming on with us later on in the show. Uh, bo bottom line here uh, is that, you know, apparently one of the reasons they've given for wanting to give more money to asylum seekers is that they get some money, but it's only about eight quid a week uh, for non-food-related spending, which means presumably they can buy themselves, I don't know, uh, a couple of packets of cigarettes or something like that, or uh, they can spend it on uh, in an amusement arcade. But apparently they have trouble getting anywhere, so now we should pay for them to travel. And they're trying to pretend that this is about travelling to appointments, necessary appointments relating to their asylum claim. Yeah. Well, I've got news for like you. Like what? A lot of Londoners, a lot of people in this city need to travel to yeah. go to... to to go to work, right. for example, to go to healthcare appointments. Right. What about Rachel well, to go Reed? To school. And to go to school to just do their yeah. to do their day, to carry out the daily life. What about Rachel Reeves ending the the two pound cap yeah. uh, on bus fares? Not in London, I know that's exempt. Yeah. Um, but around the UK, what about the threats to pensioners yeah. to have their free bus passes? And lots of them, because they're so cold at home, use public transport yeah. as a way of sitting somewhere warm yeah. on buses, on tubes. I mean, on when trains. I used to when I used to do the mid morning show, so I used the tube in and out basically. I yeah. come in a, in a car in the morning because it's very early now, so I don't spend quite as much. But it used to be something like two hundred pounds, two hundred fifty pounds yeah. a month that I would spend. It's yeah. a lot of money. It is. And it's, I mean, I only live like, you know, two or three stations away. The, one of the big costs in London, and this is obviously not relevant for people outside, but what, well, in fact, around the country, but one of the big costs in London is our public transport. Yeah. I mean, the buses are cheaper, but tubes are really expensive. Yeah. A couple of stops, and you're already paying, you know, four or five pounds. Yeah. So it is a cost, but I don't see why asylum seekers are why getting special get treatment. Exactly. And There's this, this claim that, oh, but m and most of these asylum claims go on to be successful. No, that's not how you no. assess asylum claims. No. They go on to be successful because, because they're here for so long. we're not challenging anyone right. and then they go rogue. And, yeah, exactly. And also because they've been here for so long, they qualify uh, just on being here for so long. You just go, oh, OK, here's another amnesty, yeah. which is what Labour look and like they're the going to do. And, and things like this, they really are a pull factor. We talk about was Rwanda a deterrent. But when you tell people from abroad, do you know what? In the UK, in fact, in the capital city, mm. not only do you get this, 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 accommodation... They're already getting that. free food. They're already getting free accommodation. But when you're telling them you'll also get free travel, that yeah. is a pull factor. Of course it is. This is stupid. This is, a, this is an well, imagine goal. sitting in some horrendous, awful refugee camp mm. on the north coast of, of, of France, and Normandy, uh, and you're sitting there thinking, if only I had a nice house to live in, if only I had a decent hotel... Yeah. Room. Oh, I know. I'll get that if I go to uh, England. Yeah. And if I go to London, not only will I get a nice hotel room, I'll get fed, breakfast, lunch and dinner. We'll travel and around. I will be able to be uh, subsidised to travel yeah. and go wherever I want. And we all know this thing about, you know, the streets of London paved with gold and everything. Yeah. 
obviously that's not true. Mm. London as London as London can be pretty grim. Yeah. But there is still this perception that London, you know, is a great city and there is work there and there is accommodation and there is all of this. And so I think this kind of thing is going to be drawing more and more people to the city and we're yeah. just going to be, you know, worsening the problem. Yeah, meanwhile, the small boats crisis has seen the busiest fortnight yeah. on the Channel so far this year. There hasn't been much wind this uh, this week, it hasn't been too cold, uh, so more than 3,000 people actually came. 3,197 people came uh, on uh, the last fortnight. Busiest 14-day period for crossings in the year to date. Mike, this is now out of control. Yeah. We've had 18,000 crossings, over 18,000 since Labour came to power. Yeah. They were the ones saying they were going to smash the criminal gangs. Yeah. Absolutely nothing right. has been done. You could talk all you like about, what was it? Border, super... Border butch, command. Border command yeah. force with lots of, you know... It's like Thunderbirds, Uniforms. It? Yeah. it was going to be really... International like, bit, rescue. Yes, a bit like Starmer punching a punch bag. Yeah. Absolutely nothing Useless. in it. Useless. Absolutely useless. useless. And again, he was in um, Hungary yesterday where yes. Viktor Orban has basically said, we don't take any asylum seekers. Yeah. No thanks, not very no. much, not for us. No, thank Poland you. has now banned them. Mm -hmm. um, Germany has said that they don't want any more. Mm -hmm. uh, they're shutting their borders. Austria doesn't want them anymore. Mm -hmm. The Netherlands have said that we want to do away with the Schengen Agreement for free travel uh, throughout the uh, whole of Europe. The whole of the, the asylum kind of business is collapsing in on itself in Europe. And Britain is like the only country where we're saying, oh, uh, just come here, you'll be fine. Finally people through France and just yeah. having a little a little trip across the channel it's it's an absolute disaster and mm. Labour are doing nothing about it no. and, you know we go on and on about all oh, the summer months all the crossings are higher because numbers are higher because crossings well, it's now November, well, it's now November. Yeah. and yes it's been mild but it hasn't been particularly nice weather they're no. still coming in fact, you know, by the end of the year, it'll be record, absolute yeah. record highs. Incredible, so, absolutely yeah. incredible. Uh, this is from Stephen. He says, morning, Mike. The sex thing makes sense. He says, I think my wife must be paying me back for voting for Blair first time around. <laughs> Stephen Middlesbrough, love the show. <laughs> if you haven't had sex, Steve, with your wife since, what, 2009, <laughs> I think there's a bit of a problem there. You might want to go and find another wife. Uh, let's hear from Kate, who's on uh, Free Stuff for Prisoners. Hi, Mike. Kate from Leeds. Um, yeah, I used to work in, in prisons in Yorkshire and um, inmates get get dental dental care free, all the dental work. They also get access to um, a psychiatrist pretty quick. GPs, you name it, they get it. Thank you. Good show. Bye. Kate, thanks very much indeed. Yeah, we talked about this yesterday. Free stuff for prisoners. Um, apparently, it's easier now to get a dentist in prison than it is actually outside. 48% of people are waiting in Britain uh, to get an NHS dentist because they can't get one. In prison, everybody gets a dentist. This is the thing. Well, I'm still reeling at you ending the marriages of your listeners, but we'll, we'll, we'll gloss over that, yeah. poor man. Get, you know, time to get a new wife. Um, this is the thing I genuinely don't understand, that if you're claiming benefits or in prison if you've done the crime yeah. it is easier yeah. to get health care to get you know mm. accommodation to get all sorts of i don't know mental health support it, well, you know what when dental you, care when they brought the smoking ban into scotland right mm. um it was jack mcconnell who's first minister for labor they brought the smoking ban in you could go to prison for being caught smoking repeatedly uh, in a pub or outside of mm. a pub and when you went into prison guess what you could do yes. you could smoke because yes. they didn't ban smoking in prison and, huh? and, and yet if you're working and earning a wage and contributing mm. to the economy and paying your taxes, it's an absolute struggle. Yeah. And you go for a dental checkup and it's 50 quid, 100 right. quid, you know, if you need any dental mm. work, God help you. Absolutely. Hundreds of pounds. Incredible. Absolutely yeah. extraordinary.